We have some transfer business to talk to you guys about. Also, some personal stuff I kind of want to bring up uh, because it could affect the channel here over the next couple of weeks. So uh, we'll talk about most of that after the intro. You can see some of the transfer business that we've taken place lately. We'll talk about that as well. Roll the intro. Let's get into it. Hey guys, RC here. This is episode 24 of our youth challenge, Play the Kids with FM21, and we are with the Tivies of Tiverton Town. So we have made quite a few outgoing moves. We've lost uh, five players on freeze. These are all guys that were like 17 years old uh, that had contracts and uh, got poached on freeze. Most of them you can see are three and a half star or less. Uh, he's a two and a half star. So we've let them all go. We just don't really have the unlimited funds to keep a lot of these young kids on uh, contracts if they're not playing. And if I don't think they're going to be in or around the first team uh, in relatively short order. Because by the time they may actually be good enough, we'll probably outgrow them with where we're at in the the tables uh, at least hopefully we also chose to send out ethan bryant to truro on a loan uh picking up a little about 80 percent of his salary really want him to be in or around the first team but right now he's not uh so nobody knew coming in so nothing there uh so when you see this video i'm recording this on I'm recording this on the 11th, and this is slated to go up the week of the 21st through the 25th. So this should be the Friday episode on the 25th. Uh, so just to let you know, I'll try to get up some episodes, but uh, the on the 29th, I'm leaving town with my wife. So we just celebrated uh, the end of May, our 30th anniversary, and we've been together for 36 years. And between work and money and moving and kids and everything else, we really haven't had a full-blown vacation, just the two of us, since our honeymoon, probably. And uh, so we've got, uh, I've got about a week, week and a half of uh, vacation lined up uh, with holidays for the 4th of July and stuff. Um, if you're not from America. The 4th of July is uh, an American holiday uh, where we declared our independence from the uh, the British heathens. <laughs> um, but uh, so, yeah, we'll be out of town and, uh, you know, we're just going to travel a little bit. Uh, we'll be five nights out uh, this week. And then uh, I've got a really nice uh, bed and breakfast uh, rented out for uh, three nights here. So I'll be out from the 29th uh, we'll come back probably late on the 7th. Uh, so I don't know how many videos I'll get up that week. And I'll apologize in advance. Hope you guys understand. But I do try to record these at least a week ahead of time. So I will hopefully have at least videos up for the week of the 28th through the 3rd. Uh, but you may miss videos the week of the 5th through the 10th. That's kind of what I'm projecting for. So just so you know, I uh, just wanted to let you guys know about that. And if you're watching both series, I will mention this in uh, tomorrow's episode of our Journeyman Save. So people that are watching that one and not watching this one will have the same information. Uh, let's take a look at our schedule since last episode. Uh, we had the 9-3 win over Maidenhead and the 3-2 win over Forest Green. Uh, we did lose a friendly 3-2. We played a very heavily rotated side. I think I actually mentioned that when we were going through the Graham Williams saga last episode. Cheltenham, uh, Graham Williams came back and uh, scored a hat trick in the 3-1 win and then signed his new contract. Uh, no release clause in there, but hopefully just getting a couple more years on him will just make it that much harder for the board to accept those kind of offers. A uh, friendly win over the New Saints. They called that a landmark win. Uh, then we've been on a pretty good run. 
Uh, 1-1 draw against Gloucester, Robin Mudge with the goal. Hartlepool, we beat them 2-1, Mudge with a brace. Scunthorpe, a 2-0 victory. Gary McCarthy and Tony Doyle with the goals. I actually wanted to show you this goal. And just this one, I believe it was his debut, uh, 16 years old, and he scores in the first minute. It's Nuevo setting things up. Inlet ball to Isquierdo. Crossed in and it took a deflection. McCarthy makes the run up and slots it home. And that was the first goal of his career for Tiverton. And I believe and I, I believe that was a debut goal as well. Southport, a 2-2 draw. Mudge with two more goals. And then uh, Dover, a 4-2 victory. Graham Williams, another hat trick. So he goes a while without goals, but he bracket he bookends those with uh, hat tricks in each one. So currently in the table, we are 29 points from 12 matches, two draws, one loss to go with our nine wins. And uh, Forest Green has fallen off the pace. They are now 11 points behind us, but it's Gloucester within three, and they are the second most prolific offensive attack this year. So, of course, only one automatic promotion for the league. You have six teams going to the playoff, and looks like only two teams are going to go up. I think that's all. So, two teams up to League Two. And if we check here, yeah, only two teams relegated to the Vonorama National. So, we really want to get that automatic promotion to avoid the playoff if we can. That is the goal. Taking a look at the club vision, we're an A-plus on the performance. Uh, they could not find us a good senior affiliate earlier. And, of course, we are in the progress of building a new ground that will be done in about two years' time. <coughs> we could be getting promoted uh, two, two leagues up by that point. We'll see. Uh, they are satisfied and on course with just about everything. Uh, except for the things that haven't finished. Today's episode, we're going to have highlights against Dorking, and then we'll play away against Harrogate Town. So let's get into the highlights against Dorking. So you can see I've changed the tactic for, to a 4-2-4, the one that we've used in the past. Carmichael goes over the top. It's Grant Williams at the back post. He opens the account on the night in the eighth minute, and it's Dorking nil, Tiverton 1. Williams goes underneath the keeper on the diving keeper at that, puts in his second goal in 13 minutes. Humphreys goes deep, and it's over the top. Mudge beats Garba with his acceleration and slots it home past the keeper, making it a 3-0 advantage just into the second half. Isquierdo throws it in, controls it to Ellis, crossed in, and it's headed down by Ireland. He then controls it with the first touch, puts it in, and makes it 4-0 to the Tivies. A little floated pass into Williams. He gets the right foot on it. There's his hat trick, and 5-0 to Tiverton. 90th minute. They get an outlet ball to Richmond over the top, beats Humphreys, and makes it 5-1. We thought we were done at this point, and we were. But Williams with the hat trick and pretty dominant performance, although shots were pretty even and possession was just a slight advantage. Uh, but very, very happy with that performance. Carmichael was injured in this one. He's out for just a couple of days. Williams with the hat trick again, so we will praise him. And our unbeaten streak. So remember we had that loss last episode or two episodes back. Uh, we're on a, we had a 32 match unbeaten record, and now we're back up to nine unbeaten uh, on our current run. Well, I had the microphone pulled over this time. I just forgot to unpause my OBS recording software, so the Harrogate match did not record. Uh, so I went ahead and made an audible, uh, and we're going to come back for Metropolitan Police and the FA Cup fourth round. Uh, you can see we did beat Harrogate 3 2. Pretty exciting game. Ireland, Hemmings, and Mudge with the goals. Mudge with a hat trick against Eastley. Uh, he was partnered up with uh, Graham Williams for that first match, but Tony Doyle got the start in the second match. 
Uh, so Williams is out uh, for a little bit, uh, five more weeks with a thigh strain, and that is going to be a big, big loss to us. And we'll get an idea of how we would have done had he taken one of those contract offers earlier in the season a couple of episodes back. So we're playing Metropolitan Police. This is the fourth qualifying round. I believe uh, this is the last qualifying round, pretty sure. And uh, we need to uh, get to the first actual round. Uh, let's see, Humphreys, Hughes, Harrison. All right, so we're going to keep Humphreys in the goal. We're going to go with the back four of Hugel, Hemmings, Tierney, and Izquierdo. Nuevo and Ellis are the new midfield partnership in this 4-2-4. Ireland and Carmichael on the wings. Mudge and Doyle up top. We'll have Perinello, Scobie, Cook, Allard, Bliss, and McDonald on the bench for this one. The 3-2 uh, the win, we got the late goal and uh, conceded a couple of goals that, you know, we, we lost the lead. So that was disappointing, but uh, pretty evenly matched affair. They actually had a little bit better XG. Looks like Doyle may have, oh, it was just outside the box. So it's Carmichael, and it's right into Barry's hands. Oh, we need to do, do a little bit better there. All right, a header right back to Ellis. Tierney, it's Mudge. What a save by Barry. Mudge should have put that one in the back of the net. We'll take the corner from it. Near post, it's headed away. Ireland cannot get there. Boxster Alleen, but it's stolen away. Let's go ahead and give some encouragement here. They get their first actual highlight. We steal it, cleared away. It's Mudge behind the back, beats Go, and crosses Barry up, and that's his 17th of the season. Tony Doyle filling in for Williams with the assist. Good counterattack. And Doyle with the nice flick on header. And that looked very similar to Williams. And then just behind the back, a touch pass to himself. Mudge puts us up on top. And five shots, five on target. We are looking good. A couple more shots off the mark. Uh, Mudge didn't go after it. I think he's used to Williams uh, breaking in on that ball. That's got to be Mudge's responsibility now. And it's Mudge with the header. Carmichael with the cross in. I'm not sure if that was an actual cross or if he was pinging a shot at goal, but uh, Mudge was not going to let that go lacking for effort. Got a head on it at the end of the cross. We'll call it a cross, and it's Metropolitan Police nil, Tiverton Town 2, 30 minutes into this match. Let's go ahead and give them some praise for the last few minutes. And we hit them on a counter here. Over the top, it's Mudge. Right at Barry, and then he can't cut the angle on the second chance. But we come back with a corner. Near post goes over the bar. Hemmings just can't get enough angle, downward angle on that. And it's two to nothing at intermission, 15 to one on shots. We are dominating this affair. Uh, going well, you're capable of better. Let's go ahead and praise again. If we get another goal or two, I think I'm going to pull Hemmings out. It said that he needed a, uh, he was in need of a break. I was going to give him a week vacation, but then he wouldn't have been available for this game. Uh, Hemmings got beat on that one, but there was an offsides, so we will be very happy for that. Sixtieth minute. Let's hold off and see what happens here. There's a shot from range. Cross in. All right, let's go ahead and pause it, and we'll make that sub. I'm going to go ahead and pull uh, Allard on for Hemmings here. Uh, 
Ireland for Scoby and then make him the inverted. That'll be our two subs here. All right, looks like that was tipped away from Mudge. Poor effort. A little bit of triangles and then a deep ball. That's, uh, that's kind of not how we game plan there, but not a lot we can do. Is that our away fans in the end? That's cool. All right, Nuevo. He takes a crack from range. Good save by Barry. All right, let's encourage. Over the top, it's Allard. And Allard with his second goal of the season coming on a header from the set piece, making it Met Police nil, Tiverton three. And I think we'll be sitting good here. I don't think we'll give up three goals in 20 minutes. We could. We've probably done that before. <laughs> Come on, boys. All right, let's go ahead and pull off. Uh, let's rest Mudge and bring on. You know what? Oh, hold on. Let's bring on uh, McDonald up top. Let's do that. Let's get him some minutes up at, up at the top. There he is. And Doyle made a nice break on it, got a foot on it, just not, not the finish that we wanted. We've really dominated this match, but only a 1.89 XG. Probably need to do a better than that. Uh, we're going to go hands on hips, well played. Could have maybe raised a little bit of a, a stink about that. Well, it says he just made his debut, but that's not true, is it? Because we know he got a... He got a goal there in his first match. So, all right, fourth qualifying round. We hammer him. Yeah. Mm, that's not accurate. We get 28,000 from that. All right, when is our next FA Cup first round? All right, so we are going to go in and end on a vacation. He'll miss Telford. I'm okay with that. Mudge, good job. Got to keep him up morale-wise. All right, so where is the draw? Did I just see that? No, that's the youth draw. All right, I complete my coaching qualification. I get my Continental B. Will they let me start another one? They're not, not with the finances. But let's hold on and see if they do. And that is no. All right. Well, I'm not going to argue with them right now. Uh, taking a look at uh, the schedule. So another good run going now. Uh, we are going to go into the actual first round of the FA Cup proper. Uh, that's as far as we're expected to make it. Remember last year we did put a nice little run together. We got, what, to the third or fourth round, I, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Last year. FA Cup, FA Cup uh, third round replay where we lost to Tranmere. So we got to the third round last year. So that's kind of what I'd like to shoot for is getting to that third round, trying to get a big payday would be the goal. So let's come back for Warrington highlights and we'll play FA Cup action against somebody and uh, tune in for that next episode. And don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe for daily football manager content, except for the week that I'll be out of town on vacation. And we'll see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.